Really, really cool environment out here at Colts Camp. Practice done for today. Yannick Ngakwe, a guy that the Colts are going to count on for 8 to 12 sacks this season because that's just what he does. Every single season in his NFL career between 8 and 12 sacks, kind of an undersized guy you're going to see a lot like Robert Mathis. Yannick Ngakwe, one of the reasons that people are bullish about the Indianapolis Colts in 2022. Jimmy, what are these first few practices like just joining this team and getting out of here so far? Yeah, I mean, it's just great, you know, being able to just build that uh, team chemistry with the D-line as well as well with the whole defense. It's just great just being back in the same scheme with Gus, so feel feels super familiar. Your practice, your practice tempo, how hard you practice, is that something you've always done? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it was something that was instilled in me since high school. You know, uh, you practice how you play, so I just try to implement that, make practice harder in the game so the game can come a little easier. Now, you said that you were kind of being a resource this spring for the defense. Um, how much more can you do in these settings once you're actually getting into like team drills and whatnot? Yeah, man, I'm just trying to actually like just bring the young guys up with me, you know, like Woody, Dio, guys like that. And also just like being able to be as one as a D-line running games versus o linemen, just knowing when, I, when my uh, three technique is one up field, when I can come back underneath, vice versa. Any how do you describe your personality on and off the field? Humble, humble, caring, uh, loving, you know, uh, definitely have a soft side to me. I'm mean out here on the field, but you know, uh, for instance, I love my puppy. I have a Belgian Malinois, that's my guy, so uh, he brings out the south side of me. On the field, do you flip the switch at all? Oh, gotta flip the switch, you know, because uh, it's every man for himself out there. That's how, that's my whole mentality when I go out there and I try to, you know, scratch and claw each and every play. You've been what's, really what's active the, on social media. When you flip the switch, is it, can you feel it? Can oh, yeah. you flip the switch? Absolutely, you know, um, just, uh, taking myself to a dark place is all in the mind four inches you know what I'm saying so being able to use my mind and try to alter you know what I've been going through and put it on the field you've been really active on social media how much fun have you been having living in India yeah absolutely I'm just trying to be able to you know connect with the fan base I love it so much out here it's a nice chill environment I love it absolutely you talked about getting that chemistry down at the three tech when you got a guy like buck there absolutely what does that allow you to do with your pass rush what does your presence allow him to do with this it's great rush? you know when you have a great uh player like that it allows you not to get chipped so much because they have to focus on buck as well or they have to game plan for me and they will free him up so i feel like uh, we both can benefit off each other tremendously you mean they're, they're expecting big things from you what are you expecting from you i'm just expecting that you know uh, bring my best to the team uh, each and every play are you a numbers guy no nah, man i'm a team guy been consistent your whole career is there a key to that is there something about your approach that allows that to happen yeah absolutely it goes back to this question you know just practicing super hard and really trying to get the film study down and knowing the mannerisms of the offensive lineman i'm going against you got to play with sorry you got to play with brandon face on last year and he's obviously new here oh, he's a beast um yeah what what kind of things is he going to bring to this defense he's definitely ranging he can uh, go get picks for you and he's very physical so he's a guy that can do it all you mentioned tempo earlier Coach said the bats been kind of pushing the tempo on offense. Do you like that, that they're moving faster and kind of keeping you on your toes? No, absolutely, absolutely. Because you're going to have games like that where you have to win it in two minutes. And, you know, uh, it's going to be hurry up offenses and stuff like that. So it's good to get acclimated to it now, you know, versus uh, waiting too late into the season. All good. Yeah. He's doing great. He's doing great. He actually, he actually just went to the uh, vet today. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to get a little uh, checkup or whatever, but he's doing super well. Good. Yeah. What, why seven? Uh, it's a uh, number of perfection. You know, it's a divine number. So that's why I went with that number. That's Yannick Ngakwe. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. These guys, they're all very, very similar in the way they speak, the way they communicate, the way they express their love for the game of football. There's a culture here that is palpable, and I don't think it's been stronger than I feel it this year. Yannick Ngakwe got to be really, really productive out of that Leo position for Gus Bradley's system. He's got to get to the quarterback for this thing to go.